right. So can we um, review Quiet Coyote? Can somebody show me what Quiet Coyote is? That means that our mouths are closed and our ears are open. Bailey Gatzert is in the central area of Seattle and we have about 400 students. We're the highest poverty school in Seattle schools, but we're really uh, rich with diversity. We have a lot of ELL students. We have over 21 languages here at Bailey Gatzert. Many of our students are uh, homeless. We have a large portion of students who receive free and reduced lunch. Although the kids are eager and excited learners, they're coming from backgrounds that don't always allow for them to come ready to learn. And the kids at Bailey Gasser don't have an art teacher. They don't have a strong arts education program. The Fry Art Museum is at Bailey Gasser Elementary School on Thursday afternoons between four and five. And we see about 20 kids or so on average each week. There's a little bit more blue in that one. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit more of a purple color. Yeah, it is turning purple. Mm -hmm. So what two colors make purple? Red and blue. Red and blue. There are many things that we do as a part of this one hour, one day a week after school enrichment program. One of them is the visual thinking strategies. This is an amazing opportunity for students to look at artwork, to talk about what they see, and more importantly, to develop a vocabulary around having conversations. What more can we find? Does anybody remember what this is called? Andrew, what is this called? Ink. This is ink and we are doing block printing with ink. We had this great opportunity to create an integrated arts lesson for a math unit to help support their Common Core state standards. We were really excited to use printmaking five, in five, laying the foundation for multiplication. Tell me how many rows do you have? Six. So which ones are the columns? Up and down. One that goes up and down. So how many columns if I hold it this way? Three. Three. One. Let's ink one. So one of the things that I've really noticed in, in watching the after school program with the Fry is many of our students in, in room 13 who um, perhaps are a little quieter during the school day really assuming sort of a leadership role in this, in this after school program with the Fry and it's been really special to see that. I'm a strong believer that every kid has an area of strength. Um, for many of our students who are coming from backgrounds either of trauma or not speaking English, their ability to express themselves in the typical um, academic standards way is, is difficult. So the arts allows them to express their thoughts and their feelings using a different mode. And I have found that through art, many of them who struggle in other academic areas are able to show what they know um, in, in a different way, which is really a positive experience for them. Teachers are passionate about providing our students with a whole experience, and without the visual arts, we don't have a whole experience. They're willing to commit to the professional development. They really want to see it happen at the school. It's the perfect time. Bailey Gatzert is our neighborhood school. It's in close proximity to the museum. It's a part of our geographic neighborhood. And the Fry has a real commitment to be civically engaged in its neighborhood. You paint over the color, and it turns into watercolor. Yeah. There are almost 400 kids in this school, and only a handful of them have the opportunity to participate in a one-hour art activity a week with us. The impact that this has already shown, for us to be able to go and integrate this into the daily lives of all of these 400 kids would be absolutely amazing. Now what we need is the financial investment in order to make the program happen.